So today I'm going to talk about rape. And uh, if it sounds like I'm making a joke about any of this, I'm not. I'm being very cynical and angry in a quiet way while I film this in a, in a way where my voice isn't too dynamic. and You guys don't have to adjust the volume because I'm screaming. So, Iowa State House Representative Henry Rands, he raped his wife, okay? There's video evidence of some of it. There's uh, witnesses saying that they heard it. And I guess fortunately for him, he did so in a state that only reluctantly 25 years ago recognized that you could rape your wife. And most people still, in his uh, district, House District 8 especially, they, do, they don't believe you can rape your wife. It's your wife's duty to sex you up whenever you want it. So, instead of getting charged with rape... He was charged with third-degree sexual abuse, a Class C felony. And uh, fortunately for him, there are some things that just being charged with them, you could lose your seat. Um, but this low-level felony is not one of them. So he has been able to continue his... Uh, political career since it, but he has said that he's not looking to get reelected because maybe it's set in that there are some serious people you know that are going to be prosecuting him who take the law seriously and um, don't I, I guess it, they don't interpret it with a bible in hand you know like well this law says this, but, you know, Leviticus says this, so, you know. They're actually going to be going at him as hard as they can, so he's not going to uh, put himself in the media spotlight. He said that he has health and family issues to attend to. Um, yeah. As much as rape is, uh, health concern and a family issue. Here's, here's what I really am pissed off about. Because there is a majority by the GOP in the Iowa House, the Republican Party itself could remove him. They could convene, declare that he's unfit for his seat, and remove him for being a rapist. But they don't. And the reason why is because, not publicly, but within their own feelings, they don't believe that wipe rafe Wife rape is possible. You can't rape your wife. And who does his daughter think she is for becoming her mother's guardian, court-appointed, in the midst of all this? Who does she think she is to accuse her father, or stepfather, of rape? You know... Why does she think she can meddle in the affairs of, of her father, or her mother and her stepfather's bedroom? You know, why is she sniffing around their buttholes? Now, see, normally Republicans don't have any fucking problem sniffing around other people's buttholes in their in their bedrooms and telling them what's right and what's wrong, right? Normally, they love to legislate the fuck out of that shit, right? Not this one. This one's like, oh no, we've got to keep men in power 
because the Bible says so, you know, and we can't have men being accused of raping their wives because all of us, we've probably been a little hard on our wives one or two times, right? You know, um, I'd almost say this is a, a good argument for uh, legalizing prostitution because if this guy really, really felt like he had to get his rocks off at fucking 77 years old at the time, you know, if he felt like it was a legal okay thing to do to get it somewhere else, maybe he would have. But instead, he got horny and he decided to go to the old folks retirement nursing home for people with mental conditions that he checked his own wife into and rape her. And when I say rape, maybe she, maybe she to him, seemed like she wanted it, right? But just like children or Down syndrome kids or, you know, anything that cannot consent, we don't even, like, make a list, she could not consent, right? Even if she, she looked like the same person that she was when she could consent. And he knew she had a mental problem because he's the one who checked her in to this old folks' home. A healthcare provider had learned that she was still having sex and was concerned and had already told him, quit having sex with her, she can't consent. She's near vegetable, okay? So th that's not right. You know, we have to take care of all the hurt that you're putting on her. Um, sometimes she doesn't know what just happened. You know, maybe you need to fucking stop. No, and I, we're telling you, stop, because we're doctors, you know. So, the, the complaint went to the state, the, the court gave guardianship to his daughter, <clears throat> and not a month later, he just does the same thing again. He's caught on video throwing her panties into the trash receptacle. People heard what was going on. Um, yeah. And some people might, you know, still be in tr firmly entrenched in the there's no fucking such thing as wife rape side of things. And they might say, well, how do, how do you know she really, really, really was mentally incompetent, you know? You've got the doctor's word. you got her daughter's word. You don't have any words from her at all. When he was charged or anything, you don't see her coming out in his defense because she was unable to, because she was not mentally competent. Um, and you see an entire state party telling reporters today, no, we're not making comments on this. We're, you're, we're not going to be available for interviews for you today. <sighs> they could give an interview and condemn him, but they're not. And it's very telling. 